Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to use interactive pivot tables with pandas data frames. For the imports, we import pandas, and from pivot table JS, we import pivot UI. And we're going to import IPy pivot. One way to install the packages is to use the Anaconda Navigator. Go to the environments, create an environment, and install IPy pivot and pivot table JS. For the examples, we're going to use some bird strikes data that looks like this. To create the pivot table, we use pivot UI, and then we put the data frame inside the round brackets. And recall we imported pivot UI here. And here we have our pivot table. For the examples, we're going to answer these questions or accomplish these tasks. First, what are the unique wildlife species? Let's click on this drop down here. And we'll go to list unique values. And then we click this drop down for wildlife species. And here we have a list of the unique wildlife species. Next, what year had the most damage by cost? We'll drag in the year, and for the drop down, we'll choose sum of the total cost. And instead of that format, let's put the year here. So here we have the total cost of damage for the bird strikes by year. And we can sort it by clicking right here. So it looks like the year with the most damage by cost was 1998. Next, what are the top five wildlife species by damage costs? Let's get rid of the year and drag the wildlife species here. And we wanted to see the top five by damage costs. So that would be the Canada goose. And then we have unknown bird, large, unknown bird, medium, rock pigeon, and red-tailed hawk. Now we want to know the origin state with the most damage costs. We can get rid of the wildlife species and then we can pull in the origin state. It's already sorted and we can see that the origin state with the highest damage costs was Texas. Next, we only want to see substantial damage costs for FedEx Express. We'll get rid of the origin state. And then, let's use effect amount of damage. Let's click the drop down and filter. And we will filter for substantial. Next, let's drag on the airline. And then we can filter for FedEx Express. And here we have the pivot table filtered to show us substantial damage only for FedEx Express. Next, let's visualize the bird strikes using a count by state and time of day using a heat map. Okay, for the drop down, we're going to use count. And then we'll use origin state. And for time of day, we'll drag that here. And then here, for this drop down instead of table, let's choose heat map. And here we have our bird strikes heat map by state and time of day. Next, let's create a tree map that shows the total cost by wildlife species. Let's choose sum. We can get rid of origin state and time of day. And the sum will be for cost total. Let's add wildlife species. And then we can create our tree map. 
And here we have our tree map. Next, let's visualize total cost by time of day and wildlife size. We'll drag on time of day and wildlife size. And then here, let's choose bar chart. And here we have our bar chart. And for our last example, we're going to use IPy pivot to create the pivot table we use PT dot pivot UI. And then we put in the data frame. Let's figure out the phase of flight with the most bird strikes. And we can see that the phase of flight with the most bird strikes is the approach. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.